we're looking for value. We're not looking to buy 52 week highs. If it gets there and you're adding there, that's a whole different conversation. But again, we're looking for these mid tier channels. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Just a, a, a quick announcement. Um, a lot of people uh, asked me for the last uh, you know couple of months, you know, how come there's no uh, video on Thursday nights? Uh, for all you guys know, I, I speak you know seven hours a day. Uh, in the live webinar. By the time Thursday night rolls around, my, my brain is shot. So I, I take my uh, kind of my day off from recording the video for Thursday uh, Thursday night session and obviously uh, resume uh, on the weekend. So yeah, there's no uh, Thursday night videos anymore just to kind of, I'd rather be fresh, kind of recharge Thursday night and be ready for Friday session than to kind of be uh, exhausted into Friday. So just kind of a uh, FYI, because I know a lot of people uh, ask me. So uh, let's talk about day. Um, just incredible stuff going on. Number one, um, there's a lot of big stories, right? But let, let's let's definitely lead off with uh, Trump got impeached uh, the second time. Okay, that is uh, the lead story of the evening. Um, you know, what's the significance realistically? He's, he has what a week left. Um, you know, week left in office. You know, it is what it is. It looks like a fundamental exercise. You got James Harden trading to the Nets. Nets gave up a little too much, but Brooklyn stand up, right? You got Kathy Wood. And, it, and by the way, is there anybody better than Kathy Wood running money right now? Is there any hotter fund manager uh, in the game right now? Tesla. TDOC, ZM, right? Zoom, NNDM, the list goes on and on. Absolutely amazing. Uh, after the close, uh, there were some headlines that she is launching a space ETF of all things, right? And obviously uh, space, which obviously everybody wants, everybody needs, uh, explodes today after the close. The most ironic part about it was we had it on the feed today, right? We had it as a pivot today. I didn't take any I looked at it today after the close. I go, wow, $28 tomorrow should continue, should get the 30. 15 seconds later, I see a $30 trading after the close. If you are long uh, space, especially from that 27 area, just understand that I am hating on you from the sidelines and we are not friends until tomorrow. So great job. If you did take a great job there. Other than that, again, the market does uh, what the market does. The market is incredibly strong right now. It's kind of like this whole... Uh, broken record, literally broken record. We, we say this all the time. You know, again, there's rotation in the market. Beta is generally weak. Uh, again, what we talked about last night is, you know, played out today. You know, the stocks that were dead, you know, dead in the water for weeks and weeks and months and months. Uh, they woke up yesterday. They confirmed today. We talked about that last night in the video on Zoom and all these IPOs that were starting to wake up, like Airbnb and AI and stuff like that. So the market is just really good right now. And, and again, just a little bit of piece of advice. I, I, I know a lot of you guys, uh, and again, this isn't the first time we, we talked about it, but I, I know a lot of you guys are just, again, waiting for that top, waiting for the top. You might be waiting for a while. Again, I'm conscious, believe me. I'm conscious like everybody else, and we talk about that, again, a pull could come at any time. That's an always constant reminder that you need to kind of put on a sticky pad. But the idea of trying to pick a top and fighting for some stock for 20, 30 cents while you're in the middle of one of the most aggressive bull markets, it's just very un you know, it's just unproductive. And your time and your energy and your money, quite frankly, uh, are probably better off in other places. And again, laziness, you know, you know the, the word picking a top, it's almost like a lazy course of action because, again, you're almost negating the research that you could be doing the night before to get you in, uh, you know, into a good positive position for the next trading day. Picking a top is almost like, eh, I'm not going to do the research. I just think the market's so overbought. Okay, you could, you, you know, you, you could, maybe that's going to work one time. But again, you really are missing uh, a, a lot of a really good aggressive market. Even names uh, that we talked about yesterday, again, that were left for dead, the Amazons of the world, they woke up. The Netflixes of the world, they woke up. A lot of names, again, are still very, very tired and very underneath supply. But at least we're starting to see signs. And, and today, again, turned out to be an incredibly 
uh, aggressive day. But again, it was aggressive not because we were buying stocks that were up, you know, 10, 15, 20 days in a row. Again, what we talked about last night, and we'll, you know, we'll get into the individual pivots in a second, but we talked about last night, uh, you know, the Airbnbs of the world, right? Airbnbs, you know, coming out of a channel. Uh, ZM, again, yesterday we talked about uh, ARC buying half a million shares of ZM. There was a really strong pivot and a very important close yesterday above the 350 level and a trade today back into supply. Again, nobody said, you know, this thing's going to go on a, on a you know, 50, 100 point run in the next 24 hours. But, but again, these channels are being, you know, are being given to us you know, to trade off levels that most people are not looking at. Again, most people are trained to buy 52 week highs or buy, you know, aggressive dips or short 52 week lows. But again, the meat of the sandwich is right in the middle of those channels, guys. And, and again, uh, this is like one of those scenarios that there's so much juicy stuff happening within channels. Uh, again, if you if nobody ever sat down to tell you about these channels, you'll never uh, ever be exposed to them. But again, there's a lot of good value in this market. But again, I continue to look for stocks that are coming off bottoms, coming off mid channels, anything that's up in the air. Uh, you know, the Baidu's of the world, right? The Baidu's of the world. Again, I have, again, I acknowledge they're strong as hell. I have no interest in them. Roku's again going absolutely nuts. Again, I have no interest in them. Again, the breakout was a month ago. Month and a half ago, this is just violent continuation action. And again, if you could see by these candles, they're starting to shrink, 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 and the pulls become very, very aggressive. You can see how the dynamic candles of the pulls are aggressive, and the channels on the way up are smaller and smaller. So again, be very conscious of where you are. Bull market, absolutely incredible. We're running out of superlatives, but the most important part is again. Be conscious, look for value, and let the market kind of play itself out. So uh, today's session, just again, in incredibly aggressive. I, I think that's the best way uh, of saying it. Are you going to catch every single trade? Absolutely not. But again, take the look. If you don't, if you don't trade Airbnb, don't look at Airbnb. If you don't trade Zoom, don't look at Zoom. Right? Trade the channels that you feel comfortable. Again, every trader has a different account size, has different pain threshold, has different experience level, different lifestyle. Again, no two traders are ever going to be alike. So why can you possibly think that you're going to emulate another trader? Again, if you trade space, right? Trade space. If you trade JMII, trade JMII. But again. Make sure you're comfortable. The name of the game is comfortability. And if you can't digest comfortability, get the hell out of the way uh, and make sure that you are trading something that you can. So let's talk about today's day. Uh, just, just, just craziness, absolute craziness. Uh, overstock, I was looking for that at 6230 level. I still like that level. Uh, it never got there. Uh, Citron, talk about juicing a stock, right? Squeezing a stock. Citron came out midday talking about this is a hundred dollar stock, right? JMIA 41 needs to build. Yeah, it built. I would say it built, right? So here is, you know, here is JMIA. It took out the $41, just went absolutely insane. 46 bucks on the Citron research, right? Citron research. Gotta love that word research. You put the word research in anybody's title, validates everything, right? Research. Uh, space, unfortunately, again, like I said, I'm hating on anybody who's long the stock overnight. Uh, space, 2680, 27 needs to build. I didn't take this trade. Yada, yada, yada. It's $30 overnight. Uh, Airbnb was great. Uh, Airbnb was awesome. Uh, we talked about it last night in the vi video. Airbnb, 164 needs to build. And it just absolutely exploded, right? Here's the 164. Just went absolutely nuts. Took out 52-week highs and traded to almost 179. Absolutely insane. Uh, ZM, you know, congratulations, number one, for all you guys who came in long ZM. Again, that 350 level was huge. Again, did Kathy Wood spark the, the trade last night? Again, to each his own with the opinion, but again, didn't hurt. Uh, this morning, 360 was big. That was the previous day's high. 365 was huge because that was the high from January the 5th, the first trading day of the year. And again, Zoom. Well, I guess zoomed, right? So here is the 360, took out the 360, right? Took out the 365 and traded right to the next supply zone at 385. Just an absolutely huge move on Zoom. Uh, solo, I still like, never got to nine. Uh, N-E-W-R uh, at 78, never got to 78. Uh, Tulo had a nice little pop before it reversed. Um, 376 needs to build. Here is Tulo, right? Here is Tulo. 
It took out 376, traded up to like 382 and then huge reversal uh, on Tulo. But again, big, big pop there. Uh, yeah, uh, TTCF, I still like this thing for tomorrow. Uh, if it starts confirming today's ranges, TTCF 26 needs to build. Here is TTCF. Again, another example uh, of a stock, right? Here's the, t the whole channel of 26, right? We're not buying it up here or here. So here's the whole channel. It took out the 26, traded up to like 26.60. Um, if it starts confirming this channel here, it should go higher. But again, we're looking for value. We're not looking to buy 52-week highs. If it gets there and you're adding there, it's a whole different conversation. But again, we're looking for these mid-tier channels. Um, XL was huge, right? Absolutely huge. And not only did it build 22, it literally went from 22 to 23 and a half. You can, you can make an argument in a couple of, literally in a couple of minutes, from 22 to 23 in a couple of minutes, uh, XL needs to build. The buyer came in uh, for the 25 weeklies, but you can see here again, here's the value, right? We're not buying it up. You know, we're not buying it up here, up here. Here's the value, right? The channel right here was $22 here, got rejected, $22 here. It took out the 22 and went right to the 23, uh, 30s level very, very quickly. Uh, but again, we're looking for bottom channels. That continues to be the theme. Uh, early morning push on Tesla, 852, 853 needs to build. Here is the early push on Tesla, right? Here's the 60 minute channel. Here's the 60 minute channel. So here's the 852. You see this whole channel here, right? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm giving you the wrong channel. I'm giving you the wrong channel. Where the hell's the 852 channel? Uh, okay, here's the channel right here. 852, 853. Uh, traded to 861. Big push. It got rejected again. The key with Tesla right now, it, it, again, it, again, for all you guys who are looking for a potential backside move, it's going to be this two, th these two bottoms here. You see how we, we've been talking about the rising five-day moving average for, for quite a while now. Uh, for, for Tesla to really start getting, you know, backside move. And again, you can see here a couple days in a row of lower highs. Doesn't mean it's going to roll over, but for any potential backside start to Tesla shares, it's going to need to lose this whole channel here. If again, if you look at today's low and the previous day's low, again, all you need to do is look at the chart to see where the macro uh, line in the sand is. So, you know, definitely keep an eye on Tesla again, if you're looking for an area. So uh, Airbnb, perfect. Uh, TTCF take on the way up. This definitely was the move of the day. And nobody was, and it's so weird, nobody was really talking about this trade, right? Nobody's really talking about it. And again, I took the trade off the $20 break. Um, I made some sales in the 40s, 50s, right? Into the 50s. In my wildest dreams, first of all, I have never heard of this stock. So I've never heard of it. I sent an alert on this thing, what, two weeks ago? In my wildest dreams, I didn't think the stock was going to do this, Right? In my wildest dreams. So here's the $20, right? It went to like 20 and a half pretty quickly. And then I was, I started to look at other stuff. Cause again, stuff like this for me is more subsidized trading. You know, beta for me is like, you know, is, is, is the, uh, is the meat and potatoes. So I just kind of wanted to take, you know, take the trade, take some cash flow and move on. I looked at, I thought I was seeing things. I looked at it an hour, hour and a half later. The damn thing went to $26. If you caught the entirety of this move, you're a better human being than I am. Great job. But again, cash flow is cash flow. Uh, just, an, just an insane move, right? It's just absolutely insane move. Yeah, I thought 21 was going to be, you know, it was going to be a kind of good move. It went to 20, almost $27. Absolutely insane. Uh, Amazon, 3170 needs to build. Nice move on Amazon. Again, not a huge move, but we didn't expect a big move because, again, Amazon is still way below supply. But 3170, here was 3170, right? 3170 got rejected a couple times. And again, nice move there. Went to 3190. I, I think for Amazon to really wake up, it's going to need to reclaim like 3225, somewhere in this whole area here. So again, it still needs uh, a lot of work to do. Um, yeah, so, you know, just huge move on there. Uh, and I, and I kind of laughed about it. I'm like, you know, is everybody good, right? I mean, it's just, just so much stuff going on this morning. Um, just a lot of stuff. Absolutely a lot of stuff. JMAI, ridiculous. So, yeah, um, crazy stuff, right? Crazy, crazy stuff. So the moral of the story is, again, the market continues to be good. Uh, don't fight the tape. Um, you know, trust technical analysis. I know there's theories out there. That technical analysis is subjective. Yeah, it's not. Okay, it's not. It's really, really not. Uh, there's no subjective bias on technical analysis. When buyers clean up sellers at supply, stocks go higher. When sellers clear up buyers on demand, 
they go lower. Again, you could use astrology. You could use uh, you know uh, sugar plums dancing, and you had fairies to giving you uh, telling you where the directional bias of the stock is. Trust TA, it's good, allegedly. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you on the weekend. Take care, everybody.